Okay, let's take a look at a tug of war. So this is in the future and you're working at a big engineering firm as an engineer. And every year the highlight for the company is the big company picnic. And they have all kinds of food and they have bands and entertainment, but the big event at the end is the tug of war between the engineers and the accountants. And so they get together and it's time for the tug of war. And every year the engineers lose. Uh, first it's a draw, but then the engineers get tired. They're not really in good shape and the accountants drag them through the mud. Well, last year the engineers, after losing again, they got together and they said, hey, let's not lose next year. Let's start working out. Let's start eating right. Let's win this thing. But then Halo 4 came out and the Taco Bell opened up across the streets and that new kind of Doritos came out and it just didn't happen again. And so it's time for the tug of war and the engineers are kind of worried they're going to lose. But they're good sports, so they get out there anyway. But just before they start, one of the engineers says, you know, I always wondered what the tension was in the rope during the tug of war. We're pulling pretty hard. And what do you think it is? And so he says he wants to measure it. So he goes out to his car and comes back with a giant Newton scale. And so it reads up to 4,000 Newtons here. So they think, hey, this is going to work. And so the tug of war starts and it's a draw at first. Remember, the engineers are able to pull pretty hard, just they can't support it. So at first, the engineers are pulling with a force of 1,000 Newtons and the accountants are pulling with a force of 1,000 Newtons and it's a draw. Now, if you really think about it, what is uh, the force from here? It's the ground pushing on their feet, right? So if they don't have any traction, they wouldn't be able to provide this force. But since they do have traction, they're pulling on the rope and they're pulling with a thousand, they're pulling with a thousand. Obviously, it would be a draw if they started from rest. So my question for you is, what is going to be the reading in the scale? So pause this video, think about it, and come back with your choice, and then I'll continue. Okay, you're back. So the answer is, well, I'm not going to tell you the answer. I'm going to finish the story. And so the engineers are starting to get tired, and they don't want to lose, and they come up with an idea. There's a tree behind them, and the Newton scale is blocking the view of the accountants. They tie the rope to the tree and take off, leaving the accountants pulling on the rope. So what if instead I asked you this problem? I tie a rope to a tree, and I pull on it with a thousand Newtons. What is the tension in the rope? Your answer would be a thousand Newtons, right? If they don't pull at all, it's zero. They pull with 500, it's 500. Pull with 1,000, it's 1,000. There is no difference between the tree pulling to the right and the accountants, I mean, and the engineers, except maybe the pay scale. Uh, maybe it's a little steadier, but there's no difference. If I don't have the rope tied to the tree and the accountants pull, they just drag the Newton scale along the ground. They might show a little bit of tension just because it's bumping against the ground but it would be zero tension. And so uh, it's just like this. I tie a rope to a wall and I pull with 500 Newtons. The scale reads 500 Newtons. Uh, if you were to hang this vertically and tie a 500 Newton weight here, instead of you pulling, it'd read 500 Newtons. Uh, the strong man pulling instead of the wall, there's no difference. And if you take him away or if you unhook this, then the tension goes to zero. So let's see if you're getting this. So I have a Newton scale, but you can't see the reading. And it's tied to a string that goes over a pulley. Pulley just changes the direction of the force. Doesn't change the force, really. And I've hung a one kilogram mass here, which has a weight of about 10 Newtons. On the other side, I have a string going over a pulley. And I have another one kilogram mass or a weight of 10 Newtons. And so it's balanced. And so they're just hanging there. 
I just got my finger holding the scale so you can't see what it says. What is this scale going to read? I got 10 newtons pulling this way, and I've got 10 newtons pulling this way. What is it? Hey, hopefully you said 10 newtons. And so uh, the tug of war story usually helps people figure this problem out. Sometimes I give people this problem first, and then we do the tug of war and they figure the tug of war out. So hopefully that helps you. People always ask, well, what if I take this weight off and the whole thing falls down, it's a big mess. But once you start having acceleration, then you need to know things like the mass of the scale, and uh, then you have a Newton's second law problem. So you'll be able to handle problems like that. But this one is, uh, in this case, a, a system with no acceleration, and we're asking about the forces.